In this video, we're going to continue our examination of the G82 spot drilling cycle and look at a series of holes that all have the same diameter being spot drilled. This part print shows the location of the holes shown here being drilled into the aluminum plate. And this shows the GNM code that is currently being run on our Akuma mill. The first line of code we see here is a G30P1. This sends the Z-axis home. Then we see a typical safety line. And next is the M6T01, which tells the machine to put tool 1 into the spindle. The next line tells the machine to position over the X and Y location of the first hole relative to the first work offset. And when it moves there, it should turn the spindle on at 3000 RPM while positioning at the rapid rate. The next line tells the machine to get the height information about tool 1, then to wrap it to 100 thou above the Z0 of the part, in this case the top, while turning on the coolant with the M08. The G71Z0.1 in conjunction with the M53 in the next line is equivalent to the Fanuc G98, which tells the machine in between each hole to always retract to the Z0.1. Then we have the G82 line, which was described in the previous video and establishes all the cutting conditions for this cycle. And in this case, a hole at X1.875 and Y minus 7.6875 will be drilled to 0.125 deep. After completing the hole at X1.875 and Y minus 7.6875, the machine will wrap it with the tool 100 thou above the top of the part to Y minus 4.3125. There it will feed at 10 inches per minute into Z negative 0.125, dwell for 0.04 of a second, and wrap it back out to 0.1 Z. Then it will wrap it to X 11.228 and Y minus 1.62. Again, it will feed at 10 inches a minute to the bottom of the hole, Z minus 0.125, dwell for 0.04 of a second, and then wrap it back out to Z 0.1. This drilling cycle will be repeated at every X and Y location as shown here until the drill sees the G80. The G80 code will tell the machine there are no more holes and to stop the drilling cycle. This next line tells the machine to wrap it one inch above the Z0 and to shut the coolant off with the M09. The G53 cancels the height offset and the M05 stops the spindle rotation. Next the Z axis is homed. Then the table is wrapped it forward in the y-axis so it's easy for the operator to open up the door and change the part. Lastly, the M30 ends the program. 